What's the deal, my people? You know what it is. Don Tony Teflon, and I'm back at you with another one. In this edition of Recasting Game of Thrones, we will recast, surprisingly to me, the most hated woman in the fandom in Game of Thrones, Catelyn Stark. <laughs> As I said, this lady has gotten a bad rat, Catelyn Stark, recently. It just seemed like a surge of hatred has come out of nowhere for this lady. And I think it's bullshit because I think that it's mostly from the ladies. And the thing that I hear mostly was that she was petty. I hear that she was mean to Jon Snow. And for this reason, everyone has started to hate Catelyn Stark. And I blame Don Willie. Because he was the first one I seen that made this video a couple years ago about hating Catelyn Stark. Because men in real life have gotten their dicks chopped off for sleeping with other chicks. Let alone bringing home a bastard baby. And these women, they say that, oh, I would have raised this baby like my own. This is bullshit. And that's easy to say until you are in this position yourself. And then when you put the fact that they're living in this medieval society, it even makes it a harder situation for this woman to deal with. I think that the fact that Jon Snow looks like Kit Harrington makes it a lot easier for ladies to say that. But if it wasn't Kit Harrington playing Jon Snow, and it was Joffrey playing Jon Snow, I think people would have been right with Catelyn from the jump. Now, I am not a Catelyn Stark, Catelyn Telly supporter in any way. I really don't care. But I don't like the double standards I see fans have in this. Because any treatment that she gave Jon Snow, and that's what everybody's argument is, Ned Stark allowed her to do it. He let it go down. But I don't hear nobody hating on old Ned. No, 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 no! Ned's a good guy, Ned does this, but he allowed that shit to happen in his house. And he could have shut that down at any time. But no, we don't hear no bad words about Ned. Now, Michelle Farley is one of the finest actresses on this show. Period, point blank, end of story. And this is a person who literally grew up in a castle in Ireland. So how could you not do right by casting her? But the one thing I will say about her that doesn't fit the books from the show is that I think that Catelyn Stark in the books is a more attractive woman than she is in real life. I'm not saying she's not attractive. She's a very fine lady, good looking lady. But I'm saying I think the way they present Catelyn in the books, she's a little bit hot. And that will be the number one factor that I'm looking for to recast Catelyn Stark. I'm going to look for someone who has just as good acting chops, if not better which is going to be hard to do, but someone who is just a little bit more attractive or maybe a little bit more younger or something like that. So in this edition of Recasting Game of Thrones, I, the Don Tony Teflon, recast Michelle Farley, Catelyn Tully, Catelyn Stark as Claire Forlani. Now, I have seen this woman in Camelot. I liked the show. It didn't last that long on TV, but I particularly liked the show. Seen her in a couple of other roles. But I think when you look at her, when you look at what Catelyn Stark's supposed to be, she's supposed to be strong, she's supposed to be motherly, and she's supposed to still be able to have that bitch inside of her, I think that this woman fits the bill perfectly. So you tell me, do you like this casting? Or do you think it's worse? Or do you think it's perfect? Put it in the comment section, and whoever you want me to recast next, please put it in the comment section. The most votes is the one who gets done. And if you like the way I do this, please thumbs up this, please spread this across the realm, and please subscribe. And until next time, you know who it is. Peace, and stay sexy.